All right. Hey, good afternoon, Willie. How are you doing? Hello. Um, so uh, I see behind you is uh, X X Bob. X Bob, that's right. That's X Bob, -Bob the Xbox Series X with the googly eyes. It, it's kind of sad that the Xbox has been reduced to promoting a, a, a podcast. You know, it's pretty funny. Um, way to protect your legacy, Microsoft. I mean, <laughs> really, it's just. Yeah, good job, losers. After all this time spent, you know, this is what this is what it, it, they, the 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 Xbox, the great Xbox console, is reduced to. It's just really embarrassing for the legacy to see it with the googly eyes on it. That's what I think. I'm missing something. I'm totally. I'm. It's flying right the f over my head. Do I have to put hashtag deek afterwards? Oh my god, that fucking asshole! That dude's <laughs> such a piece of. Sh you're talking about the writer of Days Gone to... losing his goddamn mind because the main character of Days Gone is in Astrobot. Um, so we talked about that dude on this podcast before. I forget his f***ing name. Did it come up before? Really? Is yes. this round two of a, with an individual? This because is. We actually. I had, we um, actually spoke uh, about John him. Garvin. So John Garvin. M um, mind is gone. One of the reasons why there's not going to be a Days Gone two. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Because, he was the asshole that we talked about who was such a piece of shit on the team that Sony made him get anger management. Okay, okay, okay. Because it's like this is like that's that's all basically the sequence the, the sequence of steps that like start from this insane tweet that lead down to the full reveal <laughs> of like everything about the Days Gone franchise. Um, yeah, like but, he was such an asshole during dev that he was slowing the game's production down. So to back like just being horrible to work with. So I mean to back this up to to the beginning, I guess for context, um, Astrobot has come out, and hey, surprise! And tried to kill my PS5. Yeah, I heard some shit went down. Um, it was hot that day, and it overheated. Okay. Um, well, I mean, the game is pretty hot, is, is you know, ah. what the consensus seems to be. Which, again, I'm I'm not surprised, because, I mean, even, like, seeing these little cameo gifts of, like, uh, uh, characters and stuff showing up in, in it is pretty fun. But that aside, back on the PSVR collection of games, the Astrobot VR game was, like, one of the best, best things one. on yeah, that entire really collection, right? And incre the playroom was just, it was so good. For, yeah. for everything else. So, like, that stood out. And and um, so it's not a surprise to see this come back and be like, oh, yeah, this is also good. Um, and part of this is, like, a lot of cameos from different uh, PlayStation IP characters showing up. One of which is uh, Deke, a.k.a. Deacon, from Days Gone, who shows up mm -hmm. in some artwork. And uh, that, to which John Garvin, the writer of Days Gone and the former creative director of Ben Studio, uh, was like kind of sad to see Deke reduced to promoting other games. Well done Ben Studio. Way to protect your legacy. To Bro, which everyone every is like... Every character PlayStation has ever touched is in that fucking game. To which everyone is like, you salty bitch! Are you out of your mind? What Wait, is wrong oh, with I'm you? I'm sorry that I'm so mad that my fucking one-off character from a franchise that will never live again, which is just an insane <laughs> guy on his motorcycle it's, that just screams about, so, yeah, brother, gets to okay. hang out with fucking Alucard and Solid Snake and the fucking Bloodborne Hunter and Crash Bandicoot as a fucking equal. So this is where I have to check my notes here and go like, hold on, was this not the motorcycle zombie game? Like, yes. And like, okay, hold pretty your brain solid. For a second. Yeah, hold, okay. Hold your brain. Okay. Do you remember the podcast where I described playing a game in which the audio for listening to the radio was set between being on your motorcycle and being on foot. But if you were on the motorcycle, he'd be like yelling his responses to the guy on the radio because he'd be mad. But those still played even if the motorcycle was at a stop. Right, right. So you'd be at a stop sitting to the radio and then fucking Deke would just go on a fucking two minute rant go, I don't know about that, Jim, to like no one in the woods. It was awesome. I mean, it's just like it's wild because I've seen people like talking about what they've enjoyed about Days Gone, and uh, uh, it's good, you know. But like that fucking salty bitch energy sucks, man. And I like credit to uh, Mighty Keith for very respectfully just being like, 
the way he phrased it was, I mean this with no malice, but you aren't seeing the bigger picture. Astrobot is in uh, is on its way to being one of Sony's most iconic games, and it's a celebration of Sony games. Having your character in the game is something everyone wanted, right? Like, the most respectful way to say that. Um, oh, yeah. And then uh, Sam Witwer, the voice uh, actor for Deke. Uh, it's like, fuck yeah, Astrobot, I'm going to go buy that. Going to buy the game now, hashtag Deke. <laughs> so... Uh yeah no so I mean I, that's it so th this is that's that's solid and everyone has turned that around and so hashtag Deke uh, uh, push it everywhere Deke freaks stay winning good stuff um but this has now led to Joji people going Monroe going oh they put Joker and Smash oh I'm mad oh Yoshi sucks <laughs> or some nonsense <laughs> like what the fuck um. <laughs> but like so from from this from the from this uh yeah I'm going I'm going with Deke Freaks um two E's on, on both sides uh you then have uh the like the 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 digging into like what the fuck is going on and why would this dude be so upset about this cool thing that a lot of other games are participating in you know that's like a fun little a uh, 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 nod to, to parts of the Sony Sony IP, you know, and, and such. Mm -hmm. And uh, that has led to, yeah, like all these other peripheral stories like Days Gone sold well enough and was uh, a, was on, slated to get a sequel, but Studio Bend themselves said no because they did not think it sold well enough according to their own metrics, despite so what Sony said. Out. Uh, a detail or two about that so it did so days gone sold over nine million copies yes which is very impressive however the game launched as a total disaster and most of those sales were on deep discount mm, okay okay um well so in terms of like you know, oh, maybe they only sold two or three million, which is obviously not enough in today's economy. Uh, clearly, and I guess somewhere along those lines, with that, um, John blamed the game also not selling well, not just on discounts, but woke reviewers was apparently listen, another listen, point Molly. of contention here. <laughs> listen, Molly, the wokes are out here to tell you that Days Gone was too fucking based to be played. Days and blue hairs got them. Days, they, hey, days it could have sold at least twenty-five million copies if not for the woke police. That's what happens, clearly. Bro, it sold nine million. Are you fucking crazy? Um, also, that game launched like a pile of shit. It was falling apart. And so, somewhere in there, um, the studio uh, was being treated like such shit that Sony made him take anger management classes. Yeah, no, because he was he was like he was like slowing down development. But, but he still harasses them every now and then, or something oh, to yeah, that no, effect. So they've started yeah. distancing themselves from him. Guy and who was forced to take anger management has totally public meltdown allegedly I, over nothing. Well, allegedly it seems. Um, and now there's uh, some something with nfts involved as, oh, as, oh so, man so yeah, I, hey do you have any peter molyneux shit i don't in the dog not today? really i mean okay, i have one thing to say if you hey crypto ai bros or whatever if you you i don't know if you saw but peter molyneux was out there saying that ai is so advanced that soon you'll be able to make your own video games with just a single prompt and if that isn't your fucking cue to get the fuck out then then i don't know what to tell you because every single thing out of that dude's mouth it, the opposite happens he, he <sighs> is the biggest liar that's ever fucking been yeah so um it's really easy to just look at this cute little game that's like hey look love for these other video games you guys like and just watch one fucking salty ass r go raging hard and go like well yeah of course if that upsets you then things that are actually upsetting would lead to ma anger management like classes being required like the scale we're talking about here like i'm like it, it doesn't it doesn't surprise me to see that one uh behooves the other so that's wild and um uh, good stuff. To that end, I guess uh, um, I'm I, I'm looking and going like, yo, I didn't realize that. Like, I'm seeing like 
uh, uh, the it's not just Sony like cameos. There's like fucking uh, uh, Ryu and Kazuya and 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 oh, I no, guess it is, it and is the Smash Brothers rule of hey, has this character graced a Sony platform? Everyone's in there. Yeah, it's nuts. Um, yeah, like I've, I've seen the Persona ones. You know, all like all the warriors. It's crazy. So I'm like, ah, what the fuck is going on over here? Um, Soul Bad Guy as it's, well. It's fucking weird that Sony released a gig like a smash hit instant classic, like mascot platformer featuring everybody is here before Nintendo. That's fucking weird. Um, I would have felt this way years ago, maybe before Smash Four era. But mm -hmm. they don't. Nintendo doesn't want to spend money on anything, dude. Like, they, oh no, I don't mean like that. I mean it's really strange because Sony doesn't have any IPs. Oh, oh yes, yes, yes. Of course, right, right. According to the CTO, there are no there. There's not enough original IP, says company leadership. I mean, so that's yeah, that's the the shot. The shot <laughs> is Days Gone, Salt over Astrobot, and then Chaser. Sony's like, we just don't have enough IP. Nintendo has... I was looking at has... Phil Spencer, and I was jealous of all the people making fun of how fucking stupid he is, so I was gonna go and say something stupid, too. Just, can we get, like, it's just, like, Spongebob meme of, like, lifting up the plate, the, 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 yeah, the covers yeah, and yeah. opening up the doors to point to Bloodborne, God of War, Killzone, Infamous Jack, Ape Escape, Gravity Rush, Motorstorm, Sony... Dark Cloud, Twisted Metal... <laughs> Sony has Pat so upon. many original IPs <laughs> that they own, and they have like a whole second tier of games that were not technically Sony's, but you associate with Sony, like Symphony of the Night is like a really good example. I mean, it's, it's, yeah, yeah. So there's, those associations are very strong, right? And, um, I mean, and, and again, the way that like you like Kratos is, is Sony mascot man, you oh, know, yeah, man. like that is, that is what, what his role. Um, I think. There is a weird, like, secondary thing to this, though, where, like, as we've said, like, Capcom has the most, like, uh, Capcom and Nintendo are, like, the beloved IP collections of, of sorts. Um, with Nintendo having that many, um, they kind of keep their IPs alive by, you know, actually remembering they exist every now and then. What the fuck are you talking about? Right? Like what? Name one Nintendo game <laughs> about an IP that hadn't been around in a while. And don't say Punch Out or Metroid or, <laughs> I, I mean, or Luigi or, or <laughs> you know, and and like it's it's the thing with that is um a lot of the studio. Okay, people in the chat are saying F Zero. Yes. Okay. Actually, yeah. No, that one. F Zero got, does got me on that one. F okay. Captain Falcon has been missing for in action, yeah. ex except for punching people. Um, but but all this to say that like you know like yeah they they the the main thing with that is they have their franchises and then they'll go out and have different developers working on these different things according to whatever the the idea is right and um yeah i saw this this kind of point was brought up and it's a pretty good one sony has a hard time doing that because if they want to get out like an infamous then they're not going to get out a ghost of tsushima right like uh they can't do kill zone until they until the horizon trilogy is finished they, yeah like, and the, it, the, it's the... kind of this weird thing where like usually you you take the ip and be like hey new team that has nothing to do with the old team. You want to make a kill zone game? Uh, and they don't do that. They right. very rarely do that. Yeah. So each of Which is kind of nice. But like each of the studios that makes the thing, they make that thing. And if they make a more popular thing after the first thing was popular, well, now mm -hmm. that both things are locked into that one place and that one uh, uh, timeline, you know? Like, so listen, do you want Jack 4 or do you want another Last of Us remaster? Yeah. Now I <laughs> obviously you want Last of Us. Now, now I don't think that means that like Bloodborne should be in the hands of not FromSoft, you know. Um, but I it does mean that like there are a lot of IPs and things from the PlayStation All Stars li lineup that stay with dust on them over long periods of time because the studios making them get really locked into bigger future. Bro, that game had franchises. No support. That game, you know? that game was so fucking depressing. That had no support. 
Like I remember, I remember like looking at it and being like, "This game is cooked." The day they announced um, the Big Daddy for that roster, which is like a character that like everyone associated with the fucking Xbox 360. Yeah, and I'm like, you have literally a hundred fucking Sony characters you could fucking include in this game. Yeah, it, it, well, that's the thing is like the the initial answer of like who do people care about uh, versus who do they have on their roster. They're like, okay, well, let's go for the bigger names as opposed to necessarily lesser names that might not elicit the same response. It, it still isn't a Smash roster, regardless. You Hit know? me with that fat princess. Um, you know, fucking yeah, Revengeance and uh, and Dino made it in there, right? Um, but uh, sure but. Did. But anyway, yeah, so it's just, it is a wild thing to have Astrobot drop and immediately follow that with a uh, uh, a C-suite executive at Sony going, yeah, we just don't have enough IPs, we don't know what to do, we gotta figure that out, it's our biggest weakness right now, like, that's fucking crazy. <laughs> ah.